a trailblazer of contemporary culture and a master of music production, Dr. Dre epitomizes the quintessential combination of talent, ambition and entrepreneurial spirit. With a legacy that resonates far beyond the confines of the recording studio, Dr. Dre's life story unfolds as a testament to the heights one can achieve through dedication and innovation. From his meteoric rise in the hip-hop industry to his astute investments and luxurious lifestyle, every aspect of Dr. Dre's journey offers a mesmerizing look into the mix between art and success. In this video, we delve into the multifaceted tapestry of Dr. Dre's life, exploring the intricacies of his net worth, illustrious career, lavish mansions, and fleet of luxury cars that adorn his empire. Dr. Dre, the renowned American rapper, actor, businessman, and producer, stands tall in the entertainment world with an impressive net worth of $500 million as of March 2024. Over the past 30 years, Dr. Dre has carved out a legacy as one of the most triumphant entertainers of our time. Amassing wealth not only from his illustrious music career but also from his shrewd business ventures. From his early days as a member of NWA to his prolific solo career, Dr. Dre has been a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. His albums and singles have sold in the hundreds of millions, making him a household name in the realm of rap and hip-hop. Notably, Dr. Dre played a pivotal role in launching the careers of superstars like Eminem and 50 Cent through his production label. Aftermath Entertainment, which he founded, Dr. Dre's impact on music transcends mere sales figures, pioneering the gritty, gangsta rap, Sound alongside icons like Ice Cube and Eazy-E, Dr. Dre reshaped the landscape of hip-hop, leaving an indelible mark on the genre. His accolades include seven Grammy Awards out of an impressive 26 nominations, a testament to his enduring influence and talent. Beyond the recording studio, Dr. Dre's entrepreneurial spirit has propelled him to new heights of success. Teaming up with music producer Jimmy Iovine, he co-founded Beats by Dre, a trailblazing consumer electronics company. In a landmark acquisition, Apple purchased Beats by Dre for a staggering $3 billion in May 2014, catapulting Dr. Dre into the realm of billionaire status. Financial records paint a picture of Dr. Dre's considerable wealth and assets. With assets valued between $450 to $500 million and an average monthly income of approximately $230,000, Dr. Dre's financial prowess is undeniable. In 2021 alone, he made headlines by selling $73 million worth of Apple stock, further solidifying his position as a savvy investor. Dr. Dre's financial portfolio includes significant holdings, including approximately $182 million in his checking and savings accounts, $6 million in stocks, and $270 million in personal assets. His journey from Compton to the company's board of directors affirmed the power of talent, determination and entrepreneurial vision. Born Andre Rommel Young on February 18, 1965, in Compton, California, the man we know as Dr. Dre came from humble beginnings. His parents, Theodore and Verna Young, had a tumultuous relationship that ended in divorce when Dre was just seven years old. Following the split, Dre's mother remarried Curtis Crayon and had three more children, expanding Dre's family circle. Growing up in Compton wasn't easy for Dre. Gang violence was a constant threat, prompting him to switch schools for a safer environment. Despite the challenges, Dre's childhood was marked by resilience and adaptability as his family moved frequently between Compton, Carson, Long Beach, and various neighborhoods in Los Angeles. Raised primarily by his grandmother in the new Wilmington Arms housing project, Dre found stability amidst the chaos of his surroundings. His mother's subsequent marriage to Warren Griffin, and the addition of step-siblings, including Warren G., further enriched his family dynamic. Additionally, Dre shared a close bond with his cousin, producer Sir Jinx, who would later play a significant role in his musical journey. Dre's academic journey was marked by struggles and setbacks. Despite his initial enrollment at Centennial High School in Compton, Dre's academic performance led to a transfer to Fremont High School in South Central Los Angeles. His interest in school waned, and he eventually focused more on his social life and entertainment pursuits. Dre's passion for music began to overshadow his academic pursuits, leading him to explore opportunities in the industry. However, his journey wasn't without its challenges. Dre's aspirations to join an apprenticeship program at Northrop Aeronautics Company were thwarted by his academic record, further fueling his determination to succeed in music. After graduating from high school, Dre's mother encouraged him to either find a job or continue his education. 
he briefly attended a radio school before finding himself in a cycle of moving between his father's residence, his maternal grandparents' home, and eventually returning to his mother's house. It all began in 1984 when Dre, then known as Andre Young, joined the electro-hop group World Class Reckon Crew, marking the genesis of his illustrious career. However, it was his encounter with Ice Cube that ignited the spark of creativity and collaboration. Teaming up with Ice Cube and Eazy E, Dre became a linchpin in the rap project NWA, under the aegis of Eazy E and Jerry Heller's Ruthless Records. Their debut album, Straight Outta Compton, shattered conventions with its raw and unapologetic portrayal of life on the streets. Earning critical acclaim and commercial success, the success of Straight Outta Compton propelled N.W.A. into the stratosphere of hip-hop royalty. However, internal conflicts led to Ice Cube's departure in 1989, followed by Dre's eventual fallout with Eazy-E. In 1991, Dre departed from N.W.A. and co-founded Death Row Records with Suge Knight, marking a new chapter in his musical odyssey. In 1992, Dre unleashed his solo masterpiece, The Chronic, Upon the World. The album, a sonic tour de force, captivated audiences with its innovative beats and incisive lyricism, garnering widespread acclaim. The Chronic sold over 6 million albums worldwide, solidifying Dre's status as a musical luminary. Dre's tenure at Death Row Records saw him collaborate with icons like Tupac and Snoop Dogg, shaping the sound of a generation. His production prowess extended beyond his own material culminating in Snoop Dogg's debut album, Doggy Style, a chart-topping sensation that made history by debuting at number one on the Billboard 200. In 1995, Dre joined forces with Tupac on the iconic single, California Love, a cultural phenomenon that topped the charts and cemented their status as titans of the industry. However, Dre's disillusionment with Death Row Records management led to his departure in 1996, culminating in the founding of his own record label, Aftermath Entertainment under the umbrella of Interscope Records. The establishment of Aftermath Entertainment heralded a new era of creative freedom and innovation for Dre. His collaboration with R&B group Blackstreet on the hit single, No Diggity, further solidified his musical legacy, earning critical acclaim and commercial success. An important turning point in 1998 marked an important milestone in his career. At the behest of his close friend Jimmy Iovine, co-founder of Interscope Records, Dre embarked on a groundbreaking collaboration with Eminem, a white rapper from Detroit. This collaboration would reshape the landscape of hip-hop and catapult both artists to new heights of fame and success. Dre's production prowess shined brightly on Eminem's debut album, The Slim Shady LP, released in 1999. With Dre producing three songs and providing vocals on two others, the album was explosive on stage with a bold, controversial energy that attracted public attention. The lead single, My Name Is, produced by Dre, served as a captivating introduction to Eminem's bold personality, igniting a firestorm of critical acclaim and success commercially successful. The Slim Shady LP rose to number two on the Billboard 200 chart. Cementing Eminem's status as a formidable force in the rap world, the album's resounding success breathed new life into Aftermath Entertainment, affirming its position as a powerhouse in the music industry. Buoyed by the triumph of Eminem's debut, Dre released his second solo album, 2001, in November 1999. Originally titled, The Chronic 2000, the album marked his return again triumphs over Dre's gangsta rap roots. Despite early setbacks, including a title dispute with Death Row Records, 2001 emerged as a resounding success, captivating audiences with its raw lyricism and infectious rhythms. Following the meteoric rise of 2001, Dre shifted his focus to producing for other artists, further solidifying his status as a master collaborator. His collaboration with Eminem continued to be fruitful, with Dre co-producing six songs on Eminem's critically acclaimed, Marshall Mathers LP. The album's massive success, including the Grammy-winning single, The Real Slim Shady, cemented Dre's reputation as a hitmaker and tastemaker in the music industry. In 2002, Dre's keen eye for talent led him to sign rapper 50 Cent to Aftermath Entertainment, in partnership with Eminem's Shady Records and Interscope. Dre's guidance and mentorship played a key role in shaping 50 Cent's debut album, Get Rich or Die Tryin', which catapulted the young rapper to superstardom upon its release in February 2003. Despite his success as a producer and consultant, Dre's fans are still eagerly awaiting his third studio album. Tentatively titled, Detox, Scheduled for release on in 2007, 
However, delays and setbacks pushed the album's release date to 2010, leaving fans expecting more from rapper and producer Iconic's album. In August 2010, he hinted at an ambitious new project, an instrumental album titled The Planets, with each track named after an aspect of the solar system. This innovative concept promises to showcase Dre's creativity in a unique and engaging way. However, in November 2011, Dre announced a hiatus from music after completing production work for artists Slim the Mobster and Kendrick Lamar. During this time off, he expressed his intention to elevate his Beats by Dre brand to meet Apple's esteemed standards while also prioritizing quality time with his family. In a surprising turn of events, Dre appeared again with a big announcement in August 2015. He revealed plans for his final album, Compton, inspired by the NWA biopic, Straight Outta Compton. This compilation-style album features contributions from a variety of writers, marking a fitting culmination of Dre's legendary career. In the midst of his musical endeavors, Dre ventured into television production. In February 2016, Apple revealed plans for its first scripted series, Vital Signs, reflecting Dre's life and experiences. Despite Dre's role as executive producer, the show faced cancellation in September 2018 due to controversial content, including graphic depictions of violence and sexuality. Dre's influence has transcended music and television, as demonstrated by his appearance with Snoop Dogg and others on Sean Combs' Bad Boy reunion tour in October 2016. The effort this collaboration showcased Dre's lasting impact on the hip-hop scene, reaffirming his status as a cultural icon. In February 2022, Dre once again made headlines with his impressive performance at the Super Bowl 56 halftime show. Joined by Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar and Mary J. Blige, Dre captivated audiences with a dazzling display of talent and artistry. The groundbreaking show won numerous awards, including the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Rehearsal Program, Live. Marking a historic achievement in Super Bowl halftime show history, continuing his foray into music, Dre and Marsha Ambrosius hosted the Casablanco album art party in Los Angeles in February 2023, further cementing his influence as a style creator and visionary in the world of entertainment. Dr. Dre, the renowned hip-hop producer, has made headlines not only for his musical prowess but also for his impressive real estate portfolio, valued at a staggering $80 million. Among his notable properties is a lavish mansion nestled in the upscale neighborhood of Woodland Hills, California. Acquired in 1999 for $2,300,000, this opulent estate recently hit the market with a listing price of $5,200,000, showcasing the allure of Dre's luxurious lifestyle. Despite selling his assets at a discount, Dre remains in a comfortable financial position, underscoring his savvy investments and business acumen. Boasting an array of amenities fit for a rap mogul, the mansion exudes elegance and grandeur at every turn. Spanning an expansive 16,000 square feet, the residence epitomizes luxury living, featuring eight en-suite bedrooms and a total of 13 bathrooms to accommodate guests in style. Situated in the gated enclave of Westchester County Estates, the estate offers unparalleled privacy and security, with a gated driveway, four-car garage, and premium security system ensuring peace of mind for its occupants. Step through the double doors to enter a world of refinement and sophistication. A grand staircase commands attention, while an elevator provides convenient access to all levels of the home. The main floor beckons with a chef's kitchen, private chef's kitchen, and a 250-bottle wine cellar, catering to the most discerning Epicureans. An expansive patio, adorned with wall-to-wall -wall glass doors, seamlessly connects the indoor and outdoor spaces, creating an ideal setting for alfresco entertaining. The outdoor oasis boasts a sparkling Olympic-sized swimming pool, indoor hot tub, and a cozy fire pit, perfect for gathering under the stars. Inside, the residence unfolds with a multitude of living spaces, including a living room, office, dining room, family room, and game room adorned with a captivating fish tank and fireplace. Upstairs, the master suite offers a serene retreat, complete with a sitting area, balcony, and a luxurious master bathroom featuring double vanities, separate closets, and sauna-equipped hair and makeup rooms. The second floor opens to a spacious balcony, ideal for soaking in the California sunshine. While the top floor houses a separate guest area complete with a kitchenette, ensuring comfort and convenience for visitors. In 2019, Dr. Dre made headlines once again by selling his Woodland Hills estate for $4,500,000, setting a record for the area's real estate market, 
as reported by Architectural Digest. This notable transaction further underscores Dre's keen eye for investment opportunities and his status as a trailblazer in the world of luxury real estate. Mansion in Hollywood Hills Nestled in the prestigious enclave of Hollywood Hills, Dr. Dre's mansion stands as a beacon of luxury and sophistication. Acquired in 2001 for a princely sum of $15,400,000, this gated estate, located at 9,161 Oriole Way, boasts breathtaking views and unrivaled opulence. Perched atop one of the coveted, bird streets, above the iconic Sunset Strip, Dre's mansion spans nearly 10,000 square feet, epitomizing the epitome of lavish living in the heart of Los Angeles. The residence, adorned with six bedrooms and nine bathrooms, exudes an aura of elegance and grandeur at every turn. Amenities abound within the sprawling confines of the estate, including a library and media room, providing the perfect sanctuary for relaxation and entertainment. A guest house and wine cellar cater to the most discerning of connoisseurs, while a pool and courtyard offer respite amidst the bustling cityscape, affording residents sweeping vistas of the glittering Los Angeles skyline. In January 2013, Dr. Dre made headlines once again by parting ways with his Hollywood Hills mansion, fetching an impressive $32,500,000 in the process. This noteworthy transaction underscored the allure of Dre's esteemed property, further solidifying his status as a titan of the real estate market. Mansion in Malibu Perched along the pristine shores of Malibu, Dr. Dre's mansion stands as a testament to coastal elegance and luxury living. Nestled on approximately 7,000 square feet of prime real estate, the residence boasts panoramic ocean views and unparalleled tranquility, accessed through a private gated courtyard. From the moment one steps inside, they are greeted by soaring glass ceilings and walls, flooding the interior with an abundance of natural light. The open floor plan beckons guests to indulge in intimate evenings of relaxation or entertainment, with ample space to enjoy the majestic beauty of the ocean vistas. The crown jewel of the mansion lies atop the top floor, the carpeted master suite. Complete with a cozy fireplace and a private, spa-like bath, featuring an oversized tub and sauna. The expansive ocean-facing balconies offer the perfect vantage point to witness breathtaking sunsets over the horizon, while a staircase leads down to the pristine sands of the beach below. The residence is replete with amenities designed to cater to every need and desire. A fully equipped gym invites residents to maintain their fitness regimen, while a spacious kitchen provides the perfect setting for culinary delights. Outdoor spaces abound, featuring at least one fireplace and plenty of room for alfresco dining and entertaining. Notably, the mansion also boasts a recording studio, reflecting Dre's dedication to his craft and passion for music. It's a space where creativity knows no bounds, where melodies come to life against the backdrop of the ocean's timeless rhythm. Intriguingly, Dre had previously attempted to sell the property a decade ago, listing it at various prices ranging from $11 to $12,500,000 over several months. Despite the previous listings, the allure of the Malibu mansion remains undiminished, a testament to its timeless appeal and unparalleled beauty along the coveted coastline. Mansion in Calabasas Nestled within the prestigious gated community of Mountain View Estates in Calabasas, Dr. Dre's mansion epitomizes luxury living on a grand scale. Situated on more than three-quarters of an acre, this palatial residence offers a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. Constructed in 1997, the mansion boasts a spacious floor plan spanning 873 square feet, comprising six bedrooms and seven bathrooms, providing ample space for relaxation and entertainment. Upon entering, guests are greeted by wide oak floors and soaring ceilings that exude an air of elegance and sophistication. Designer light fixtures and premium granite, marble, and tile finishes adorn every corner adding a touch of opulence to the interior. Entertainment takes center stage within the confines of the mansion, with a walk-in bar nestled within the family room and a state-of-the-art theater providing the perfect setting for movie nights and gatherings. Additionally, classrooms and a wood-paneled beauty salon offer opportunities for leisure and relaxation. Outdoor living is equally enchanting, with a plethora of amenities designed for recreation and enjoyment. A spacious living room with a fire pit sets the stage for cozy evenings under the stars, while a pool and spa surrounded by a stone sun deck invite residents to bask in the California sunshine. A courtyard kitchen and pizza oven offer the perfect backdrop for outdoor dining and culinary adventures, while a sports court provides opportunities for friendly competition and exercise. A stone fountain adds a touch of tranquility to the lush surroundings, 
creating a serene oasis within the confines of the estate. With its exquisite design and array of amenities, this magnificent residence embodies the epitome of California living at its finest, providing a sanctuary where cherished memories are made and moments of serenity abound. Mansion in Pacific Palisades Dr. Dre, the Grammy Award-winning music mogul, recently put one of his Pacific Palisades, California homes on the market for approximately $2,600,000 in December 2023, and it has realized received many offers. Acquired by Dre in 2019 for approximately $2,200,000, this four-bedroom abode offers a glimpse of high-end coastal living. Nestled in the gated Summit Club neighborhood and built in 1997, this 3,102-square-foot residence exudes charm and sophistication. The home has undergone a meticulous renovation, featuring a spacious kitchen adorned with custom cabinetry, high-end appliances and a center island. Truly a joy to behold, chef. The living room is a cozy retreat, complete with a gas fireplace and built-in wardrobes, perfect for relaxing evenings with loved ones. Upstairs, a master suite awaits, along with three additional bedrooms, all adorned with vaulted ceilings and wide plank oak floors that add a touch of luxury to the interior. Set on two acres overlooking the majestic Pacific Ocean, this residence offers ample space for outdoor entertaining and relaxation. The home sale will include membership to the Summit Club, a prestigious community featuring a swimming pool, sports fields, tennis courts and gym, providing residents with endless opportunities for entertainment and relaxation. With an idyllic location and luxurious amenities, the Pacific Palisades Villa by Dr. Dre offers a peaceful retreat amidst a bustling cityscape. Where coastal charm meets contemporary luxury, but dear viewers, the story continues as we take you to see the beauty of his shiny car collection now. Cars Dr. Dre, the maestro behind chart-topping beats and iconic tunes, extends his artistry beyond the music realm to a garage filled with automotive marvels. Where horsepower harmonizes with hip-hop in a symphony of luxury and style. First on the list is the timeless 1987 Ferrari Testarossa, a classic masterpiece valued at approximately $134,000. Crafted under the Italian Ferrari banner, the Testarossa boasts more than just elegance. Beneath its sleek exterior lies a robust 5L flat 12 engine, producing an impressive 385 horsepower and 361 pound-feet of torque. Symbolizing Dre's journey from humble beginnings to global acclaim, the Testarossa echoes the rhythm of his rise to fame. Next in line is the majestic Cadillac Escalade, valued at around $230,000. This black beauty is a sanctuary of luxury, a testament to Dre's stature in the industry. Combining Dre's vision with General Motors' expertise, the Escalade exudes power and opulence. Its 6LV8 engine delivers a commanding 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque, blending performance with luxury. Customized to perfection, the Escalade epitomizes Dre's penchant for uniqueness, from its lavish interior to its cutting-edge entertainment system. Adding to his collection is the Chrysler 300S, priced at approximately $42,000. Crafted by skilled artisans at Chrysler, the Chrysler 300S embodies the fusion of style and substance. Beneath its refined exterior lies a formidable 6L Hemi V8 engine, generating an exhilarating 363 horsepower and 394 pound-feet of torque. Equipped with a Beats by Dr. Dre sound system, this sedan offers an unmatched audio experience reflecting Dre's commitment to excellence. Last but not least is the extravagant Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe, valued at a staggering $553,000. A convertible masterpiece, the Phantom Drophead Coupe epitomizes British craftsmanship and luxury in motion. Its twin-turbo V12 engine packs a punch with 453 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque, propelling the car from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5 seconds. Beyond its performance, the Drophead Coupe offers a sanctuary of sumptuous materials meticulously crafted to perfection, mirroring Dre's pursuit of excellence in every detail. In Dre's car collection, each vehicle tells a story of elegance, power, and meticulous craftsmanship, reflecting the multifaceted genius of one of hip-hop's most iconic figures. Business Beats Electronics emerged onto the scene in 2006, marking a pivotal moment in the career of Dr. Dre, who co-founded the company alongside his partner, Jimmy Iovine. Their journey into the world of consumer electronics began with the launch of the first headphone brand under the Beats by Dr. Dre label in July 2008. 
the Beats product line introduced a range of high-quality headphones designed to revolutionize the audio experience. Among its offerings were the Beats Studio, renowned for its immersive sound quality the Beats Tour, sleek in-ear headphones perfect for on-the-go listening in the Beats Solo and Solo HD, ultrasonic headphones cherished for their clarity and depth of sound. The lineup also included the stylish Heartbeats by Lady Gaga and the Diddy Beats, catering to diverse tastes and preferences. In a strategic move to expand its reach, Beats Electronics partnered with Hewlett Packard in late 2009, bundling Beats by Dr. Dre with select HP laptops and headphones. The collaboration culminated in the release of the limited edition HP Envy 15 Beats laptop. Unveiled to much fanfare at a press event in October 2009, in January 2014, Beats Music made its debut, heralding the company's foray into the realm of music streaming services. This marked a significant milestone in Beats' evolution, further solidifying its position as a trailblazer in the industry. However, the most groundbreaking development came in May of the same year, when tech giant Apple acquired the Beats brand for a staggering $3 billion. The acquisition not only took Beats Electronics to the next level, but also brought Dr. Dre reached the peak of success, earning him the title, the richest man in hip-hop. Following the acquisition, Dr. Dre assumed an executive role at Apple, collaborating closely with the company to elevate its audio offerings and expand its presence in the market. However, revelations surfaced in 2022 that Apple had deducted $200 million from the deal, prompted by entertainer Tyrese Gibson's premature announcement of the acquisition on social media. Despite the challenges and controversies, Beats Electronics remains a powerhouse in the world of consumer electronics, celebrated for its innovative designs and unparalleled sound quality. Dr. Dre's visionary leadership continues to shape the company's trajectory, ensuring that Beats remains at the forefront of audio innovation for years to come. Philanthropy Dr. Dre along with Jimmy Iovine, two giants of the music industry, have demonstrated their commitment to education and philanthropy through a number of notable initiatives over the years. In May 2013, the dynamic duo made headlines when they generously donated a whopping $70 million to the University of Southern California, USC. This endowment paved the way for the establishment of the USC Jimmy Iovine and Andre Young Institute for the Arts, Technology, and Business of Innovation. The institute, which opened its doors in September 2014, aims to cultivate the talents of exceptional students who aspire to explore and create new art forms, technologies, and business models. Not content with one grand gesture, Dr. Dre continued his philanthropic endeavors in June 2017 by committing $100 million to build a state-of-the-art performing arts center for Compton High School. This visionary project, a collaboration between Dr. Dre and the Compton Unified School District, will feature a 1,200-seat theater and provide invaluable creative resources for students. Construction of the center was anticipated to commence in 2020, promising to uplift the community and provide a platform for artistic expression. Amidst the unprecedented challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic in April 2020, Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine once again stepped up to support their community. Their generous donation aimed to provide critical aid to Compton residents by covering the costs of medical testing, supplies, and free meals. The impact of their contribution was profound providing 145,000 meals and facilitating coronavirus testing for those in need. Mayor Asia Brown lauded their unwavering support, emphasizing the importance of increasing access to essential resources during such challenging times. Fast forward to February 28, 2024, and Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine showcased their philanthropic spirit once more during Freeze Week in Los Angeles. The duo hosted a charity auction, co-hosted by Sotheby's, which raised an impressive $2,500,000 to benefit the Iovine and Young Center for High School Education. The star-studded event, held at Iovine's residence, attracted notable figures from the worlds of entertainment, sports, and business. Through their visionary initiatives and unwavering generosity, Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine have left an indelible mark on education and philanthropy, inspiring countless individuals to make a positive difference in their communities. Personal Life the life of Dr. Dre, the renowned rapper, producer, and entrepreneur, has been marked by significant personal and professional events, including relationships, tragedies, and controversies. Back in 1981, when Dre was just 16 years old, he became a father to a son named Curtis with his then-girlfriend Cassandra Joy Green. Despite their young age, Green raised Curtis, who later pursued a career in music under the stage name Hood Surgeon. 
By 1983, Dre welcomed another child, a daughter named Latanya Danielle Young, with Lisa Johnson. Over the years, Dre and Johnson expanded their family, eventually having three daughters together. Tragedy struck Dre's life in 2008 when his son, Andre Young Jr., from his relationship with Janita Porter, passed away at the age of 20 due to a heroin and morphine overdose. This devastating loss deeply affected Dre and his family. Dre's romantic life also garnered attention. From 1987 to 1996, he dated singer Michelle Lee, with whom he had a son named Marcel in 1991. However, their relationship was marked by turbulence, and it eventually ended. In May 1996, Dre tied the knot with Nicole Threat, who had previously been married to basketball player Sedale Threat. The couple shares two children, a son named Truce and a daughter named Truly. Despite his personal challenges, Dre faced health issues, including a brain aneurysm in January 2021, which led to his hospitalization. During this time, his home was burglarized, adding to the stress of his medical condition. However, Dre received an outpouring of support from fans, friends, and celebrities, including LeBron James, Snoop Dogg, and Eminem. In December 2021, Dre finalized his divorce from Nicole Threat, marking the end of their marriage with a reported fortune of $100 million. Throughout his career, Dre has remained a devoted fan of sports, particularly the NFL's Los Angeles Rams and the NBA's Los Angeles Lakers. Dr. Dre's journey through fame and fortune has been punctuated by various legal and personal challenges, shedding light on the complexities behind the glamorous facade of celebrity life. Legal Issues In 1991, he assaulted television host Dee Barnes at a party, leading to a lawsuit and legal consequences. Despite the incident's fallout, Dre's legacy in the music industry remains complex, marked by both accolades and controversies. In October 1992, Dre faced legal repercussions for assaulting a police officer and engaging in a brawl at a New Orleans hotel lobby the previous year. These charges added to his already tumultuous legal history, marking the beginning of a series of legal entanglements. A year later, in 1993, Dre found himself convicted of battery following an altercation at his Woodland Hills residence. The altercation, sparked by a confrontation with a man on his front porch, resulted in serious consequences. With the victim claiming Dre had broken his jaw, Dre's legal woes continued to mount when, on January 10, 1994, he was arrested after leading police on a high-speed chase through Beverly Hills in his Ferrari. The arrest revealed that Dre was driving with a blood alcohol level twice the legal limit in California. This incident violated the terms of his parole leading to an eight-month prison sentence and a hefty fine. As Dre's star continued to rise, legal battles followed him into the new millennium. In 2001, he faced a litany of lawsuits, including one from Lucasfilm Limited. Over the use of the Thanks trademark, Deep Note, additionally, he was sued by the band Fatback for alleged infringement related to his song, Let's Get High, from the 2001 album. The legal battles extended to French jazz musician Jacques Lussier, who accused Aftermath of plagiarizing his composition in Dr. Dre's song, Kill You. The fallout from copyright issues persisted, with Napster settling a lawsuit with Dr. Dre and the band Metallica in 2001. Napster agreed to block access to certain files the artists didn't want shared online. Another copyright lawsuit ensued in 2002 when Sari Gama, an Indian film and music company, sued Aftermath over an uncredited sample in the song, Addictive, produced by Truth Hurts. In November 2004, at the Vibe Magazine Awards show, Dre faced a harrowing encounter when a fan named Jimmy James Johnson attacked him. The altercation took a tragic turn when rapper Young Buck, then a part of G-Unit, fatally stabbed Johnson. The incident was shrouded in controversy, with Johnson claiming that Death Row Records president, Suge Knight, had orchestrated the assault. However, Knight vehemently denied involvement and supported Dre, leading to Johnson's eventual imprisonment. Further controversies arose in April 2016 when Suge Knight accused Dre and the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department of Involvement in a murder for hire plot related to Knight's 2014 shooting at the One Oak Club. Although Dre faced accusations of threatening behavior in July of the same year, including an alleged confrontation with a neighbor in Malibu, no evidence directly linked him to the incidents, and he was soon released by the authorities. In the realm of intellectual property, Dre faced setbacks. In May 2018, he lost a trademark application for his name to a Pennsylvania gynecologist, Dreon Birch, 
who had filed a similar trademark in 2015 under the name Dr. Dre, pronouncing similarly to Dre's moniker. Moreover, in June 2018, Dre and Jimmy Iovine were directed to pay $25 million to Stephen Lamar, a former partner and designer, who claimed $100 million in unpaid royalties related to the early design of Beats headphones. The lawsuit stemmed from Apple's acquisition of Beats in 2014. Thank you for watching the entire video. Please leave your comments in the section below. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.